new coaches, new quarterback, and so much more. Notre Dame 2023 spring football is going to be incredible to watch. And Blue and Gold will certainly have all of the live coverage on our website and on our YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit the thumbs up on this video because you're going to like what we talk about in this one. And head over to blueandgold.com for all coverage of Fighting Irish Athletics. In this video, we're going to be talking about five spring storylines to watch. And the first one is obvious. It's the starting quarterback battle. And we had a video at Blue and Gold recently where myself, Tim Hyde, and Mike Goolsby talked about the battle. I know a lot of folks are probably listening to this thinking, yeah, quarterback battle. There's no quarterback battle. Oh, it's Sam Harton. But that really wasn't our discussion. It was more about should Tyler Buckner be the guy? And that was more of... Uh, Goolsby and Hyde's point of view, I think you go with Sam Hartman. Again, go watch that video uh, to get the full context. You won't disappoint, or you won't be disappointed watching that. But there's no doubt, even if you think that Hartman, it's just a, uh, a guarantee that he's the starter. He came to Notre Dame to start. He's not going to transfer here and, and sit on the bench. But still, this is definitely the top storyline of the spring not again not that we are at least i don't expect hartman to be the guy but how does that competition uh play out how do the guys look in practice the media doesn't get a ton of access i mean they're not getting to watch all 15 spring practices in the, their full entirety or anything like that but there's definitely going to be a lot to glean there will be some practices where the media gets to see all of it um, somewhere it's just a few periods, but still we will have footage of practice at blue and gold on our YouTube channel here We'll have analysis so again make sure to lock in right here But Sam Hartman the Wake Forest grad transfer ACC all-time leader in passing touchdowns versus Buckner uh, You know the starter for the 2022 season uh, Rocky start to the season. He obviously struggled against Marshall goes out comes back for the Gator Bowl wildly entertaining performance by him head scratching at times exciting at times do you go with the younger option um that could help you more for 2024 if he has a starting season under his belt to lead notre dame to the promised land in marcus Freeman's third season or do you go with the one-year rental and hope that sam hartman takes you to the promised land in 2023 and then you start over with a new quarterback next season a really interesting topic and conversation again going back to the video with myself Goolsby and Tim Hyde that was really the the arguments from both sides which one do you go with um, but yes Sam Hartman Tyler Buckner the quarterback battle um, one that you probably wouldn't expect to be named until the fall but whichever guy doesn't start do they want to bolt before the summer so they can go get a potential starting job elsewhere for the 2023 season? Really interesting, guys. So definitely uh, stay tuned to that one. Spring storyline number two is another quarterback battle, the third string quarterback battle. If people say the backup quarterback is the uh, most popular player uh, on a football team, the third string quarterback battle is always really interesting. You would expect it to be Steve Angeli. He's going into his sophomore year. He's been in the program. He's been impressive from what sources have told me. But the thing here is if Kenny Minchie were to have a stronger spring than Steve Angeli, and Minchie's, of course, the uh, All-American quarterback that Notre Dame flipped from Pittsburgh uh, late in the recruiting cycle, uh, he's an early enrollee. If he were to jump Angeli, what would that mean for Angeli? You'd have to think that he might be looking elsewhere. But if Angeli puts together a really strong spring, and then if Buckner, again, speculating here, but if Buckner says, hey, I'm not, I just got beat out by Hartman, I'm not going to start here this season, I want to play right now, and then he goes, Steve Angeli could be one snap away from being Notre Dame's quarterback in 2023 at, at, at some potential point. So I definitely think how Angeli and Minchie, and all guys, all these quarterbacks really, how they progress and perform is definitely a major talking point and storyline for the spring. Spring storyline number three is how will the new coaches mesh? We would certainly expect by the start of spring ball, which I believe is March 22nd, Notre Dame will have its assistant coaches 
filled and all of the analysts and support staff. That should be all done. Quarterbacks coach Gino Gadulli is new. Uh, we're expecting good things from him um, during his first season in South Bend. Jared Parker, the new offensive coordinator. What kind of wrinkles does he change? That's definitely something to watch. Joe Rudolph is taking over as offensive line coach to replace uh, Harry Heath, Dan. What does that unit look like? It's obviously a really talented one. Does he make any major changes or does he keep the bookend tackles the same? Where does he play some of these guys? That's definitely a big storyline. As of now, the defensive coaching staff is the same, uh, but Marty Biagi is expected to become Notre Dame's new special teams coordinator and we'll be interested to see. And not that you can glean a ton from spring practices, maybe a little bit in spring ball if there's any changes on special teams, but Biagi um, is Notre Dame's special teams coach, at least expected to be, I should say, to replace Brian Mason, who left for the Indianapolis Colts. Storyline number three, which freshman will impress? Notre Dame has, uh, what, is around a 13 uh, or so true freshmen who enrolled early uh, in January. You know, you have some big-time pass catchers. Braylon James, Rico Flores, Jaden Greathouse. Notre Dame sources believe that one of those guys, if not a couple of them, can make day one impacts in their Notre Dame career. Greathouse is the guy who I'm specifically watching. Linebacker Drake Bowen, cornerback Christian Gray. We already talked about Minchie. What about linebacker Jaden Osberry, defensive lineman Devin Houston, safeties Adon Schuler, Ben Minnick. Offensive lineman Sam Pendleton, linebacker Preston Zinter, all early enrollees for Notre Dame. There always is that one guy that really emerges. Last year, I think it was Jaden Mickey, who just really stood out in his first spring semester, um, and excuse me, spring practice. Which one of these guys shows out? That's definitely a storyline. Last but not least, will any defensive linemen emerge? That's our last spring storyline here. It's a huge year for this group and defensive line coach Al Washington. They brought in Javante Jean Baptiste from Ohio State. He's expected to be a key pass rusher for the Irish after they lost Isaiah Foskey. But do you see guys like Alexander Ahrensberger or Jordan Batelho? What about Nana Asafo Mensa? Do they emerge? What about Jason Anye, Gabriel Rubio, Aiden Kayana Aina? Do any of these guys emerge as you know rotational pieces or you know guys who just didn't really play in years past two big time contributors for this defensive line? Any young players? Notre Dame has a ton of true freshmen or you know redshirt freshmen uh, in the program, Armel Mukum, Bubakar Traore, Aiden Gobira, Josh Burnham, Brendan Vernon, Devin Houston, Tyson Ford, Donovan Heinish, a big group of first and second year players. I did hear that Aiden Gobira might be the surprise of the group. So if that happens, you heard it here first. If it doesn't happen, forget you heard it at all. Uh, but in all seriousness, it's going to be a pretty strong group. What about, you know, these guys who came in as linebackers and now are defensive linemen, like Ju like Junior Tui Halamaka, and I mentioned, uh, and quickly, Joshua Burnham. Do we see them emerge as pass rushers? It's a, a group with 18 scholarship defensive linemen, um, but Howard Cross, Riley Mills, need to see these guys continue to take the next step to make that defensive line group great. What do you think about our five Notre Dame spring storylines? What storylines did I not mention that are big to you? Make sure you drop them in the comments section after you hit that thumbs up on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not yet. Appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video, and as always, we'll catch you next time.